Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so <laughs> bummed out right now. I did the whole video on how to use your uh, Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes and none of the clips recorded. I don't know what happened. It just showed like a broken clip and they had the three clips in my, my uh, camera, but it's not doing anything. So hopefully this records. I did a test run and it was doing fine. So I don't know what happened. That's such a bummer. So I am reviewing the Cosmic Shimmer Gilding Flakes. Um, I picked these up on HSN. I think this is the Meadow set. I'm not real sure. Um, they have two different sets, but this is the only one available right now anyway. I think they have it for like $29.95. Uh, it comes with your two uh, pretty good size jars of this stuff. It's about 200 milliliters. It's basically like gold foil flakes. Um, what's cool is the lady showed like to use it. She said it's just easier just to dump it out into like a Tupperware or like a Glad, like kind of a cheap, inexpensive uh, container. And it makes a ton. Like even what I did here, um, you're going to see that it didn't waste like anything. Like it looks like this is brand new basically. So anyway, it does have a little sticker. I had to kind of remove the tab there to get it going. But other than that, um, you know, it's just a jar and it doesn't have any kind of seal. Uh, it does come with your glue. And what I was saying in the last video is that this is the Cosmic Shimmer Flake and Glitter Glue. Uh, it's about 30 milliliters. So you definitely need this. It's a type of glue that does not dry. So, I mean, this is obviously stuck on there so I can touch it. But um, I do have something else once you run out of this if they don't offer it. Um, and I don't know, hopefully they still make it. The Rubber Cafe, the Scrap Happy Sheer Glue. I bought tons of this at one of the expos I went to. Not, well, a few, almost a year, what, five, seven years ago. And, um, and it doesn't dry. So it's really good for card making and stuff like that if you have to reposition something. But it has a little give, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes cards need just that little amount of give instead of just being so rigid. Um, so it never really dries. If you have like leftover strips um, or just like some of the acetate or something, you can put these little dots, let them dry, uh, let them dry but let them harden, right? <clears throat> like I said, it never dries. And then just put another plastic piece or the same kind of that little waxy paper over it and you have glue dots. So like this stuff's really cool. But it's very similar. Um, so we have that. It comes with four of these um, sponges and these are basically to help you apply the product. Uh, I am going to be using, instead of the sponge for the glue, I'm going to be using one of these cheap and expensive, you know, sponges that you can, craft sponge that you can get from anywhere. Um, the glue is hardened here, but it's not completely dry, if that makes sense. It's still sticky. But I was using that. And then um, the kit also comes with an A4 pack of five double-sided uh, adhesive sheets. So basically you can run this through like any kind of die cutting machine if you want to cut it and then just peel off that um, the back there and then you use that to adhere the flakes to. So what I was showing you is that um, she was, the gal was saying that you want to use dyes that aren't uh, dyes, the images that aren't super fine, but she says, but you can use a fine image, it's just better to use something a little heftier. So AliExpress had sent me this for free in one of my orders and I like, I, when I saw it right now, I thought, oh, this is going to be perfect for this. So it's a little bit thicker, the lines on here, and I don't know if you can see how it looks powdery. That's I already had a couple stamp sets come in that look powdery like this that aren't super clear, so I don't know what's going on with AliExpress, like, you know, with the people that they use there, but apparently that's the, the what, what they're doing now. And um, in the previous video, I had also put some of the glue on here because what happened is I couldn't find a large enough stamp for this, so this is just a Gemini cutting plate. And you can use anything. I mean, you can always use a cutting plate for a, as a uh, stamp holder. And I do have larger I mean I can use like a cutting tool uh, not cutting tool a stamping tool I guess but anyway I just put it on here and then I also put the glue on here because I thought oh I can use this as a palette and get that on there right but it's kind of a bad idea because it like does not want to come off it's washed it's washed with soap and it is just like etched into the plastic so I don't know if there was some kind of reaction there but here we are so I'm just using black cheap black paper from Michaels which is not my favorite thing to have used I just couldn't find anything else. I do have this nicer quality black paper here. I think it's from Coordinations, but it has texture to it, so I don't want that to be a reason why it might not work. I guess I could use it at this point, but let's just do this real quick. So, she says to put this down, apply it to your stamp in a daubing motion, and then when you put your paper, to put the paper to the stamp, and I'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, and, um, and only rub it around for like three seconds. She says she has a three second rule. And earlier, I think I went a little longer than that, maybe four seconds, and when I went to take it off, the paper kind of ripped off of here and stayed on here. So I guess you don't want to glue it to your stamp, basically. 
but um, obviously it came off and it still worked, so it was like pretty cool. Um, we will need probably a, about that amount of glue. I don't know if you can see that. The blue, the glue does have like a blue tint, and that'll let you know it's still wet. And once, isn't that weird? It's all blue right here. And once it dries to clear, then you can use your flakes. Okay. So, um, well, dries to clear on the paper. So right now I'm just gonna again pick it up and pounce, pounce, pounce. And I didn't know if I did a good job before, so it doesn't take a lot of the glue, but it kind of does because I ran out of glue that last time. So, um, in the last video. So really get that on there. My stamp is moving around. Oh, you know why? Because I washed it. I washed it with soap, so there's water behind the stamp. I'm just going to use all. She says if you have any leftover glue, you can put it back in the bottle. And you can also use the tip of the bottle. I just wasn't going to do that right now. You know what I'm saying? It has an applicator tip if you want to use that for some reason. Okay, just squeeze it out. Um, all right. I'm going to get it on here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Is that three? Oh, oh, okay. The whole stamp came up this time because <laughs> of the, the water. Okay. Now, do you see how it's a little bit blue here and the rest is kind of clear? That little bit of blue needs to be clear. So it's going to take like a minute or two. So I'm just going to go and wash all this off and see if, um, if I can do a better job this time. And I will be right back. And when that's done, it'll be time to adhere our product. Okay, so what I mentioned before too is that she used a rubber stamp. I don't really work with rubber stamps. I mean, I have some, but I wanted to use a clear acrylic. But right now, like, even washed, it still feels sticky tacky. But that might be good for these acrylic stamps because sometimes they don't want to hold on to your ink. You guys know that it repels them. So, like, I think that kind of helps out make it a little sticky. Okay. Oh, I should have closed my window. I should close my window for several reasons now because... I live right near a fire station, like literally three houses down. I live in a cul-de-sac at the end of the cul-de-sac is the fire station. I'm going to close the window because it's going to blow this stuff everywhere. Okay. So when you open this up, this stuff is super flouncy. <laughs> like, do you see this? I already used it and it doesn't look like I did anything. Um, oh, what a bummer because it was so pretty. Well. It's not like that hurts anything. It's, I still have it here, but it's sticking to my finger. Oh, you know what? I probably got glue on my finger. So you basically just want to put some around the design. It doesn't have to be completely covered at this point. And in this one, there's like greens and blues and really pretty colors. I'll use the same little sponge I used before. And I'm going to get a little bit closer. Try to stay in frame. So you see how it's kind of clear there? Oopsie. So all you're going to do is lay this stuff down. Right now is what you're trying to do is cover the areas with the product. And the reveal was pretty cool. That's why I was so excited. Now it's going to sound fake. I bet you it looks cool every time. I don't know. So you're just getting the product everywhere that there's the glue, right? Now keep an eye, guys, because this is going to be awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it down and watch as I... Do you see how that looks all amazing all of a sudden? You see all that detail instead of like this big mess over here? Look at that. And I'm not pushing super hard. And if you miss the spot, you can always, actually while you're doing this, it'll, you'll get it back in there. Look at that. Now, you see this area where it doesn't look like, it just looks like a big clump of the gold? Just go in there and rub that other stuff away. But to be honest, it might've been because it was wet. So the glue might have spread more than I would want it to. And all you're going to do is do that. And then just pour it back into your bottle, right? Whatever's left here. Just open up your canister. Maybe I'll do it right now. I didn't do it in the other video because I didn't want to make a mess. But let's see, guys. Just get it back in there and then get all those little flakes in there before you really put it away. That was pretty good. There's still some out here. But, but how amazing is that? I mean, is it worth 30 bucks? I don't know, it's really fun. This other one wasn't perfect and it looks beautiful and I can tell I can't get the right angle but there's a lot of blue. There it is, do you see that blue? Like down here or over there, it's so pretty. It just depends on the angle you look at it and right here it looks more like, like bronzy and gold and silver but you get that, what's that, like a patina look to it. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. So really fun, um, you know, just something else to add to your, your stuff. To your repertoire <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys sorry i had to come back and do it again i think i probably had more information in the other video but that's okay uh thanks for watching i'll have some pictures for you i mean i'm gonna try to get those angles so you can see how pretty it is and yeah i mean it's fun stuff 
All right, I'll see you guys the next one. Bye now.